No more war! Stretching across Manitoba's legislative grounds, thousands showed up to rally. After dealing with the initial shock, they want to take action. Many here have family back in Ukraine. We are far away and uh, every when I'm calling my mother, she doesn't answer within the three rings, three seconds. My, my heart just stops, right? Because it's uh, so it's really hard to be not with them right now. And uh, of course, we, we would try to do anything that we can. They're collecting donations of money and supplies for the fight overseas and refugees who may soon call Manitoba home. There's a spot where people can write letters to their members of parliament. After Russia, Canada has the largest Ukrainian diaspora in the entire world, and the largest proportion of them live here in Manitoba. And so what's happening overseas is being felt very much right here. Well, it's good that they feel comfortable it's very real for them. Some immigrated at rec as recently as three weeks ago, and so they are very much in contact with their relatives there. Ivana Luki has set up a special station just for children. There's coloring books with simple facts that explain what's happening. She's Ukrainian and a school psychologist, here to help parents figure out how to talk to their kids about what's happening. Just giving them a chance to, to be kids and to play and to ask questions and they're gonna they're just saving space for that, those questions. Um, trying to be honest with what's going on right now and um, just trying to keep a routine at home as much as possible when you can. Organizers say this is also their way of helping Manitoba's Ukrainian community grapple with what's transpired. We're all going through this together and being able to be here to talk to one another and to look each other in the eye, I think is a really wonderful experience in the sense of it shows that we're not alone. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Winnipeg.